Hey everyone, welcome to Wicom Hero. I'm Ashley and today I will be showing you how to install an additional hard drive on your computer. Um, this is my computer, this particular the device right here is my computer. I built it back in 2016. Um, and when I built it, I didn't actually meant it for uh, video editing or starting a YouTube channel. So it's not technically built for that. Um, I built it for light gaming, um, I was surfing the web and I wanted to make it as small as possible. The reason for the video is I only have about 240 gigs of space on my computer. That's total, that's the SSD, I don't have anything else. Um, that was enough for the last three years, but now that I'm starting a YouTube channel, I'm saving my, my videos, I need a bit more. So, I purchased this drive. It's a uh, two terabyte uh, Seagate Barracuda compute uh, and the price, I got it from Amazon. It cost me about, I think it was 50 bucks. I went with this because first two terabytes, uh, second it was a good price, third I think it had like 256 MB of cash. I don't know, I think, it's a, I think it'll be a good addition. It had a, good, a bunch of good reviews. So without further ado, uh, let's start installing this. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need. A screwdriver, four screws, which should have been included with your case, a SATA cable. Uh, I have two showing right now, an angled and a straight. They both come with the case. It all depends on what I what I might need. I'm not sure which one of the two I'm gonna use. Obviously the hard drive, and it's never a bad idea to have your user manual close by, um, just in case you need a, some reference information. All right, so this is the computer, top of the computer. First things first, we gotta remove my case. This is gonna be different for every computer. Mine has four thumb screws. These are the thumb screws I hear for them. And I'm just gonna unscrew them, and get to the back so I can get the whole cover off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. I'll just slide it back and pop it back out. And this is the inside of my computer. So there's this hard drive tray. Now, if you were to look, this is the manual for my computer, or my case, that is not the whole computer, because um, I did build this myself. Um, there is going to be a section on all the ways you can mount your hard drive. The one I'm interested in is actually using the top cage. The reason I'm doing that is that I don't want to use this configuration because it'll block the airflow for my graphics card, and I'll show you that in a bit. So, screwdriver, and let's just remove these screws. There are four. Okay. Put them aside, make sure they don't get lost. So, the hard drive, hard drive crave is out, just like that. All right, so, um, there is another cable you're going to need, and this is the cable right here. Let's see if I can actually focus into it. Um, this guy right here, that's the SATA power. And one thing I just noticed right now, opening the case, is this is a SFX power supply. What that means is just it's a very small power supply. Um, a full power supply, it's massive and they'll bring more connections. I used to have one, but I gave it to my brother. Long story, um, he needed one. So currently you can actually see my, push it to the back, my SSD right there. Um, solid state drives, they are faster than these hard drives, but um, they get a more expensive because of that, right? So they're smaller form factor, they're not mechanical, they go faster. So if I were to buy two terabytes of an SSD, it'd be way more expensive than just getting this hard drive. And all I'm doing with this is just saving data into it. I'm not working off of the drive, I'm just saving data into the drive. So this is perfect for what I'm gonna be using for. Now, the issue I'm noticing is this is short. This is very short, like from here, like I'm, I can barely move this around. So I think I'm gonna have to put the hard drive and the SSD um, together, both of them on the drop on this drive right here, this drive A, which shouldn't be an issue. So hard drive is gonna sit somewhat. You see these four screw holes right here? 
um, it's gonna sit just like this. Holes kind of align up right there, just like that. Holes are lining up, and then the SSD right next to it, and hopefully there's enough space to like just hook up both of these together. I'm not gonna bore you with screwing and stuff. I'll pick it up in a second. Okay, so you want to locate the SATA ports on your motherboards, and those would be these guys like that. They have like a little, they have a little L shape to them. So this guy right, sorry if I blocked the light. This guy right here, this is my current uh, where my SSD is connected. And I'm going to use this one right next to it to connect my hard drive. All right, so that took a bit of work. But here's my SSD, here's my hard drive, and here's that cable uh, right here. There's, there was just enough to connect both of them. I was kind of lucky. Uh, but all that's left to do right now is hook up the SATA cable. So I'm just gonna hook this first one up right here, which goes upside down like this. Very carefully, I'm gonna just, and it clicks. And then the second one, which is right here, I'm just gonna hook it up. There we go, clicks again. And I'm gonna route these cables away from the fans. And just plop this thing right in here again. All right, so I'm gonna screw this back on. Okay, so there we have it. Um, with everything screwed back on, both drives are in. I don't, I'm not suffocating my uh, my power supply. Has enough room to breathe. Uh, I could use some cable management, but you can see that my uh, CPU also has enough space to breathe. It's right under here, and. Now with the SSD removed, my graphics card, which you can't see, it's in here, but that has enough space to breathe. Well, it, it had enough space before. All right, time to reinstall this back and try it out. And also I'm gonna reconnect all the cables. I had to, like to disconnect the power when I'm working. You can never be too safe. All right, so everything powered on perfectly. Um, but you'll notice that if you go to your drive, you still only see one drive uh, available. So uh, what you have to do is actually you have to go to Windows and you can type up our disk management. And what you'll see, and this might be different again, I'm using Windows 10. You'll see something that says create and format hard disk partitions in the control panel. So go ahead and click that. So the thing you'll see when you click uh, the partition uh, button is uh, this management uh, pops up and you're gonna get a pop-up from this disk manager and it's gonna say initialize disk. And uh, it might call it this one, two, three, it depends on how many you have already in your system. This is gonna give you two options. MBR, which is master boot record or GUDI. But yeah, I'm not gonna go to full in depth. I'm just gonna use this as an extra, uh, storage space. So I'm going to go ahead and select MBR and I'm going to hit OK. So right now it'll show up as uh, unallocated space, right? So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say, I'm going to select new simple volume. Um, a little wizard is going to uh, pop up and my wizard is just like a little uh, setup um, menu. So you're going to hit next um, for the full amount. You don't change anything here. Hit next again. You're gonna assign a path to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign, I guess uh, this is for YouTube, so the letter Y. Um, let's hit next. Uh, you can name your volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, let's name it YouTube for now. Let's name it YouTube in the Y drive. And it's gonna perform a quick format Hit next again. I just go ahead and finish, let it format itself. It's gonna be ready and there you go. There you have, my drive is now ready. This, um, it's in, it's in Y and it's for YouTube. So now I can save all my files in there. I hope you guys enjoy this quick tutorial on how to set up a hard drive or adding space or storage to your, to your Windows 10 computer. If you like what you see, you'll kind of want to see me go more in depth on how I actually build this computer, this small uh, ITX computer, 
any questions you might have on installing uh, hard drives. Eventually I'm gonna have to upgrade my setup. Not sure when, I have no, no drive to actually update. The computer's working just fine. I mean, it's taking a bit to render some of my videos, but you know, it's all right. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Ashley, this is Weekend Hero. Please uh, like, comment if you have anything to say. Definitely subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll catch you in my next video.